It's story time! Hello and welcome to the Storytime Podcast and this week I have with me Nicole O'Connor. Yay! You are a repeat guest. You are yeah. my third ever repeat guest. I am so honoured. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> James was in just before you and he was <clears throat> like, he's the second ever repeat guest and he's like raging I'm not the first. <laughs> Who was the first one? Uh, Neil. So uh, ah. Neil came in to do Insane Travel Stories and then he also came in to do First Time Stand Up Stories which was only last week. Yeah. Um, so he was actually the first ever repeat guest. Which is not too bad. I was going for a year and a bit before I had to start repeating people. Yeah, that's um, fair enough. Like. Yeah. But I mean, it was actually because people have more than one set of stories. Who knew? Exactly. Uh, remind people where to find you on the internet. So you can find me at uh, Nicole O'Connor on Twitter and Instagram. It's spelled uh, Nicole, N-I-C-O-L-E, surname O-C-O-N-O-R. Yeah. Is that unusual? It's one N in Connor. See, this is the thing, because my name is actually normal O'Connor, like, with two N's, but I was, like, stupidly, was like, oh, I want my um, my usernames to be the same, so no, I'll I just actually, drop the I, N. Oh, I totally agree with you there, actually, yeah. but I, I see, yeah, okay, I get it. I know, and now, like, people are like, that's so stupid, now I don't know how your name is actually spelled. I may just have to change it to one N, so it just, like, fits with everything. Yeah, just legally change your name. <laughs> <laughs> it's for my brand, okay. <laughs> Kelly, uh, one of the facts contributors, she, <laughs> she, <laughs> there's a tweet pinned to her Twitter, but basically, um, she misspelled her name as a kid and ended up legally. I think it was for a passport application, ended up legally changing it because it was just easy. <laughs> Easier than going through that. Because changing your name is actually like a big ordeal. I just realised, sorry, the microphones are all the way over here. Come here, microphone. <laughs> I think Jesus. mics that are like that yeah, so pull, cute. Pull them right over here. Yeah, um, so apologies if you couldn't hear us there for the first few minutes. So again, please remind people where to find you on the internet. Okay, so you can find me at Nicole O'Connor on Twitter and Instagram, so that's N-I-C-O-L-E-O-C-O-N-O-R, because I was silly and dropped the N, even though my real name is two Ns. Don't let that confuse you, you're probably already confused, so am I! <laughs> <laughs> I do understand the whole wanting your username to match, so I'm a big proponent of that. Yeah. <laughs> I hate when people have all these different usernames, mm-hmm. I can't find them, it's very annoying. Um, it's inconvenient. So, uh, I was just saying that Kelly, one of the facts contributors, actually uh, misspelled her name. I believe this is the story. Misspelled her name. Must get her on to tell her own story. But mm. Misspelled her name with a passport application when she was younger and then just legally changed her name to match. She's fuck it. Sure, why not? That's <laughs> and, so cool, though. I didn't know. Like That's why she's K-E-L-I-E, not K-E-L-Y. Yeah, she was like... Because I remember trying out different like spellings of my name, thinking that would be super cool if I spelled it with like Nicole with a H. So, like, it's so funny to me, the idea of, like, a kid being like, oh, for my password, I want to be I.E. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for the rest of your life. <laughs> and that leads us nicely into what we're going to talk about this week, because we thought we would share backstories. Yeah. Because Facts Channel, R.I.P., mm-hmm. um, I feel like everyone in the internet is talking about this at this moment in time. Yeah. Uh, but there seems to be a lot of interest, so while that traffic train is hot, we'll jump on board. <laughs> we might as well. <laughs> <laughs> we might as well. Uh, but yeah, facts. So it was a big part of my life for two years. I was a producer there behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Um, it is an Irish YouTube channel. It had it has 1.3 million subscribers. So I started working there when they had just under 400,000. So they just hit 400,000 the week I started. Mm-hmm. And they had uh, 80 million views, I think. Because i pretty sure I was there for the 100 million views party. And... Uh, yeah they had 80 million views that was it and then so now they have like I don't think they have a billion yet but they have like a couple of hundred I think it might be 500 million Mm. it's something it's something stupidly high like 300 million at least yeah and uh, they have 1.3 million subscribers so yeah it was just a full time 9 to 5 job for 2 years it was a big part of my life and then Mm. it was a big part of your life because you were one of the on camera people yeah the contributors and you were there I think for longer than me. Yeah. I, I think was, you were there a good bit longer than me. Mm-hmm. I did my first video uh, with Vax in January 2015. Yeah, so that was three years, just over three years that I was doing Vax videos. Yeah. So, uh... Sorry, I'm just going to move that. Yeah, it's fine. Um, and that's a long time. It's a long time. And in that time, I did 150 videos. Gee, yeah. Christ. <laughs> I know. I, it's such a weird How thing. How do you know that? Um, I kept 
count because I'm a psycho like that. <laughs> I had a playlist and like a list on my phone. Literally after every shoot, I would type in the name of the uh, video that I was just after doing. And I just like well, put up a little count. Okay. Yeah, and I'm so glad I did that now. Yeah, see, I love the idea of that, but I know that if it had been me, I would have forgotten to do it. Mm. But I love, I, like I'm so impressed that you kept that up for three years. That's really impressive. Yeah, I don't know. I think I just... Uh, when I started doing fax, I was working as an actress, so like I would use fax videos for my reel. So I always I had a little playlist already that I could like send to casting agents of like, oh, here's me on camera. So I just yeah, kept sense, adding yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah. So it was it was a huge part of my life, and it feels weird not being in all the time because you know statistically, if I did a hundred and fifty in like three videos, I was in like nearly every week. I'd say, yeah, you yeah. were probably at least, at least once a week. Which yeah. is so weird, because I would look at other people that did videos, you know, like Ryan and Davey and Laura, and, like, they seemed to be, like, the the big guys that were in, like, you know, so many videos. But somehow along the way, I guess just because I was there for so long, I, you know, built up. Got up there with the <laughs> yeah. numbers, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, a, it was mad. It was, it was just a mad time. And I'm glad actually my last video was the Valentine's Day shoot, the one where Lorna was on the table and I had to take a shot to her belly button. <laughs> so I went down the high. I remember leaving that shoot being like, that was a mad shoot. Well, that's facts. <laughs> the end. <laughs> about body shots has just grossed me out, man. I wouldn't really oh, have to no. do that. Yeah, and it was through the belly button as well. Like no, I've done I them can't. before, but like when I was super drunk. Yeah, it just, no matter who, it no, I, I couldn't do it. That's I don't know what enough. it is. <laughs> yeah. It just grosses me out, just the thought of it. Mm-hmm. Ugh. I think, um, because I was talking to Sean and Colin yesterday, and like, they came, they weren't in that day that they were shooting that video, and they came in the next day being like, what happened here? We're gone once, and you've done this, Lorna's on the table, <laughs> you're doing shots of her body. Okay. <laughs> Sean and Colin, just in case anyone doesn't know, are two of the other producers, and so is Lorna, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, producers. I think that was one weird thing about Facts was that, like, there was definitely an engaged, <coughs> excuse me, like a small engaged community who knew everyone and knew everyone's name and knew how it worked. Mm. The majority of the audience, like, just tuned in or tuned out or whatever, but they didn't understand the whole producer thing. Like, you know, they didn't really... Because a lot of the audience didn't know that there was people working on this behind the scenes. Yeah, and Which I suppose... Which is so weird, because of course, they're, like, how did the videos get made? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I suppose you got, like, more of that because you were a producer for yeah. so long. People being like, oh, you know, Nicole's in the office editing the videos. No, I'm not. I got to do... <laughs> I just got to swan in, you know, a few times a week, shoot for an hour, get my money, go home. It was great. And take all the credit. So, yeah. <laughs> thank you. One of the yeah, producers. No <laughs> I actually, yeah, I really enjoyed editing them. Um, it's really good fun. The only problem with it, or like disappointment, I suppose, is actually just that like so much had to get cut because you were shooting for an hour and a half mm. for a four minute video. So there was so much good stuff that hit the dirt. Yeah. And um, it's just, that's just a pity. And I know that a couple of times I wanted to kind of do blooper videos and stuff, but mm-hmm. the answer was no. But like stuff like that, I think would have been cool. Yeah, like when we had our one million subscriber party, there was this. It, we had a blooper video that you know projected onto the wall, and it was it was a really long video. It was like at least five minutes of us standing there at a party, just laughing at ourselves. You know, mostly Dermot because the amount of outtakes that Dermot would have. Yeah, we had we made a we put a lot of effort into making that. It was really long actually. Yeah. Um but I actually have a vlog. I must put that together. I have a vlog of that one million subscribers party that I've never put up. Oh yeah. yeah. I just forgot about it. So actually I should put that up. Yeah, that was a pretty swanky um <laughs> I just remember the giant glasses of wine. They had them in a gin and tonic glasses and I was like, This is great for me. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's mad. <laughs> it's just it just sort of went from like here to like and then it just was like well now it's dead and it yeah. was just like it's so weird i know and a lot of people are still confused and a lot of people don't even really know that the channel is not there anymore yes because there's been this weird decision where they're not announcing it yeah i think because he wants to keep the door open in case they want to start publishing again but like with what producers like yeah you fired all your I, anyway uh, <laughs> 
uh, let's keep it positive and talk about it. Well, it doesn't have to be positive. What is like a backstory from your time there that kind of sticks out with you? It doesn't even have to be a shoot, really. Um, I was thinking about this before that I haven't actually talked about. There's uh, Because I um, was in college at the time when I started doing fax videos, it was just so happened my college was right around the corner from one of the many offices that fax, you know, operated in at the time. And we so, moved <laughs> office so many times. So many times. It was so annoying. Yeah. <laughs> I hate moving office. Too. And every time it was like, you just have to readjust to the office. and like, what is this now? <sighs> so annoying. Yeah. But, um, so I would get texts in the middle of the day for a while. I suppose this is how I hung around for so long and got to develop as like in front of camera. I was like an emergency person. So they'd be like, hey, Nicole, uh, can you come in in like an hour? And I'd be in college and I'm like, okay, I have to go. Sometimes I wouldn't have like, stuff with me to look presentable on camera and I remember once I used actual sharpie as lipstick before Amazing. I went in I was like no it's either this or nothing I can't I can't possibly so there's one video where I have really weird papery purple lips that sharpie my mouth that tasted amazing. How did you get off afterwards? It actually came off like pretty well. I don't <laughs> I got so afraid to put that on my mouth. Yeah, and I, I think I got a compliment from like Lorna when it came. She was like, Oh I love your lipstick. What is this? It's <laughs> Sharpie. <laughs> yeah, the amount of times I came in like with no makeup on and then like I'll just be back in a minute in the toilets just quickly get my face on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, I think it was only the, the shoot where we were doing our makeup from when we were a teen that I ever, like, just went barefaced on camera. And it's not like, I don't really care, you know, not wearing makeup or anything like that, like, in front of camera, but it's just, I had a look that people liked, so I, I kept with it. Yeah, makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, I did like the whole studio setup, I felt it, like, it was very flattering. Mm. Yeah. I remember saying before, I was like, there's never been a video where I've felt, Jesus, you look off on the go. Like, those, the soft boxes and everything, the setup was really nice. Yeah, like, there was days where I'd sit in because, say, somebody cancelled or whatever, and I'd literally, I'd just been in the office, like, I have a hoodie on, hair mm. up, didn't give a shit, and then I'm, like, suddenly in front of the camera, but actually, the light setup and everything was really flattering, so it was fine. Yeah, I feel it kind of guilty, because I feel like I... In some videos, I like threw off the white balance or something because <laughs> you see in the comments being like, "That girl is disappearing. She is a vampire." Yeah, I used to get lots of comments being like, "Why do you put the Irish people in front of a white background to taste stuff? You can't see them." So then that's why we changed it to <laughs> coloured backgrounds. Uh, and you know what? It was like one extreme or the other. It was the white background or the black one. I hated the black. Background. The black one just messed with the color so bad. In that um, like weird condom video, like I am paper white in that mm. one. There was and there's an orange background that we used, and I mean literally, I'd say for about three videos, so we scrapped it, but. I think it was the Thanksgiving video. And actually oh, that yeah. Thanksgiving food video did really well. It got like mm. t- 2 million views or something. But it's this really, it was this really off shade the whole way through. And I don't know, I think they probably fixed it in post and before it went up. Mm-hmm. But I remember it caused issue with the editing because like it it, it just, it did something to the colour grade of the camera that mm-hmm. whatever auto setting was on. And it was just a pain to fix. Yeah. So some of those backgrounds actually caused more problems than they resolved. Mm-hmm. Did you shoot flat and then put in like a filter or was it like like an auto thing? Well, yes, yeah, so we dropped a grade on it basically. We were supposed to, yeah, not shoot on auto, like shoot on sort of settings mm-hmm. um, that then did not change and then drop a grade in later, which was a grade that slightly upped the brightness Mm-hmm. but really up the saturation and the contrast. Yeah, because uh, like, I remember hearing that there was like a specific filter, so to speak, like on all the facts videos, so it looked uniform. It makes sense, you know? Yeah, it's an editing grade, yeah, so an adjustment mm-hmm. layer. Um, so the the problem was if, if you didn't check the camera or if somebody else changed the settings on the camera, mm-hmm. then when you drop the grade on, it's not the same because you haven't been using the same shooting settings yeah. so that was where the that was where things fluctuated a lot because the camera would nearly always be changing settings yeah of course um, and yeah it was yeah so mm-hmm. that was why and then it used to really annoy me when people be like uh, who edited this one like your oh, intern yeah. and I'd be like no it was me you dick <laughs> <laughs> i like to see you try this yeah like, oh god 
Like it's so difficult though to edit from like an hour and a half of footage yeah. down to four minutes. That's that's so difficult. And it's only something that I'm like really appreciating now when I'm kind of exploring doing videos with myself. I'm just like, no, short shoots are nothing, baby. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that that's something that a lot of the contributors have branched out into their own channels now. And I think that's one thing that they'll find is it's actually a lot more work. Oh, yeah. When, like, when you have to do... Like, I love being involved in Dry Channel now because I just go and then I get to leave. I don't yeah. have to edit anything. It's amazing. <laughs> like You're getting the me experience. Yeah, that I it's amazing. <laughs> it's like... But when you... Like, when you're on your own YouTube channel and you're shooting and editing and uploading and doing all that, it's actually a lot more work. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what like a lot of the contributors will find now that they've branched out on their own. Um, but I'm loving doing the opposite. <laughs> oh, and I am so excited for Try Channel. I, like, it hasn't launched, you know, as of this recording, but I'm just, yeah. I've, I've filmed it. Although, time. actually, by the time this goes up, mm -hmm. it will, uh, I think this, it will be this week. I think it will be the same week this podcast goes live, Try Channel is oh, launching. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So... Uh, yeah, very excited to see how Tri Channel does. Mm -hmm. um, and it, like, obviously, starting from scratch is not amazing, but like, no, especially not now on YouTube. It's yeah, but I strange. think, I think it'd be cool. Yeah. I think we shot some cool videos, and I'm excited to see the final product. Mm -hmm. Me too. Um, so fingers crossed. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, other stories that I have, it, this is the thing because it's been it's such a long span of time. I'm like, oh, I can't yeah. remember half of these. True. Uh, I remember when it like it was announced that Fax was ending. I was like, I created a poll on my Twitter where I was talking about all the shoots that I've gotten sick at. Don't know if you, you know, if you don't like hearing about puke, then maybe skip ahead of this. But it was like, you know, certain video, certain video, certain video, or all of the above. And it was all of the above. So I, like, I remember when we were on the Game of Thrones shoot, that got the least amount of votes because people were like, why would she get sick meeting dire wolves? Actually, yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. Did you get sick? I got sick, like, in the place. Oh, travel sickness, is it? Travel sickness, yeah. Uh, so it doesn't yeah. really count. It, it's kind of, like, misleading, but... Uh, <laughs> but you actually did throw up. I, I, I proper threw up. I threw up, like, twice Oof. on that way to, um, to the Game of Thrones, like, area. And Northern what Ireland. was the second one? Second one was when I got my wisdom teeth out. I got all four wisdom teeth out and then I gave myself like like a five day break and then I got a text being like, Hey Nicole, would you like to do a video with us? And I was like, Of course. And then I got the location. Then I realised it was an alcohol video and it was mulled wine. And I was like, I'm sure this is fine, I'm still antibiotics, but I wanna keep on filming. <laughs> I think that shoe we drank like at least four mold wines, which is hard enough on the stomach, you know, yeah, you know, without four holes in your face. But uh, <laughs> I lasted until like right before we're, you know, giving our final thoughts, and I just felt really sick, and I was like, okay, I can't hold this in no anymore. No, puked in the studio. In no, like it was actually on location, thank God, in uh, Baggett's Hutton. I think that's the name of the place that we did that. We did the uh, American cocktails there okay. as well. But I just like put my hand and I was like, I'll be right back <laughs> and just ran to their toilet. Nice. Got sick and I was like, no, they cannot know. The, you know, they don't know I got sick. Maybe I just, you know, needed to go to the bathroom really quickly. And then I came back like within like five minutes and they're like, Nicole, are you okay? Are you feeling sick? And I was like, I'm fine. I'm fine. And I finished it like a champ. But if you watch that video, you can see I'm getting progressively like more quiet and paler and paler. And like, you know, I can't remember, who was I with? I was with young Paddy and he's getting chatter and chatter. I'm just like, okay, Paddy, good thing I'm with you. You can, you can be left to chat away. <laughs> and then what was the third one? Third one was... Sir Streaming? Sir Streaming, yes. And that one is, I think, yeah, the one, the first proper like on camera puke from me. <laughs> and like, it wasn't even like a necessity. Well, I took, I ate the fish and then I was like, I don't want this in my system. There's no way. So I just got sick into the bucket and poor Oshin had to, had to watch that. Mm -hmm. And then third was, or no, fourth was chicken wing video. I wanted to get sick and faint during the hot wing video. Yeah, I felt really bad about that one. Mm -hmm. Even though I wasn't involved in it, but when watching it, I was like, oh. Yeah, and people are like, really they're bad. exaggerating. 
No. No. <laughs> it was like someone lit a match in her mouth. It was not good. And that was the only thing I ever like said. This is what, you know, I'm not going to do this again. Mm-mm. So when I first started there, we, we had a sick book. We always had a sick book. It. Mm-hmm. And then eventually, I think it was me that came up with the idea to put a plastic bag in the sick bucket. Yeah. And it made so much more sense. You didn't have to mind it. You didn't have to clean it. Like I remember after, I think it was uh, drunk people... Hangover food, is it? Hangover, hungover people to hangover food. I was in that as well. And there was a lot of puking in that one. Mm-hmm. And... But to be fair, I served you a raw egg in a glass, so of mm-hmm. course everyone was going to throw that back up. Um, that was hardcore. But yeah, that was gross. So <laughs> uh, yeah, little things really helped, like putting a bag in the sick bucket. So you just take the bag out, and you didn't have to wash people's sick out of the bucket. It was like that job it was like the waitressing, well. cleaning, and yeah, yeah. producing, uh, cooking. Well, not cooking, but like reheating the chefs' stuff. Um, but there was the bug one as well was another one and I think at that time there was no bag in it either and it was just like it wasn't sick but it was just like people were spitting back into the bucket so it was full of spit and bits of insect it was gross oh Jesus <laughs> oh, like I know people that have like proper phobias of sick yeah I'm, I'm not a big fan of other people's sick or spit yeah, yeah. I'm not, don't love it uh, <laughs> wouldn't be a fan of either <laughs> The worst one ever to edit was the Filthy Frank video. Oh. People had to watch Filthy Frank, which meant I had to watch Filthy Frank every mm-hmm. time because I had to edit it. So I watched those three videos about 30 times. I, I was like, been able. <laughs> yeah. I could I could barely stomach how to basic. And I was just like, you know your man that like is like a how to boil an egg and oh, then yeah, he like yeah. smashes a load I of eggs. I actually really like how to be. But yeah, he I can't. His toes I on can't that. Yeah, I can't watch too much of him because it just, it does, you begin to feel really sick. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, no. It's so violent as well. I'm like, <laughs> after a while, I'm just like, calm down. I don't, fair play to him because I don't know how he's managed to make it last for like five yeah. years. Because when I lived in, he's Australian. And when I lived in Australia, he was just blown up and he had reached 200,000 subscribers. And I remember somebody saying in one of the YouTube meeting things we had, uh, or meetups, they were like, I just don't understand how he has 200,000 subscribers because it's like the same joke, essentially. Mm-hmm. Um, but I remember watching him for the first time and breaking my heart laughing. It was so funny. I think the first one I ever watched was How to Make Chicken Curry. And oh my God, it's so funny because yeah. I wasn't expecting it. And when I showed all the people I worked with, again, you got that reaction. But yeah, I don't know how he's managed to keep it going because it is the same, jo- like five years later, it's the same joke. Yeah, it's such a shareable thing as well. Like, yeah. I, I remember like coming across that from Facebook, just people being tagged in it. You can be yeah. in, tagged in any video, you know, pops up and then you're like, you know, there you go, same joke. Some people still haven't seen it, so. Oh, sorry, I'm... Uh, no, you're fine, I'm going to take... The hangover is hitting me, I think. Oh, oh. I had a few drinks last night. I was organizing a comedy gig. Ooh la la! Yeah. So I've one of the, the things to come out of me being in fax is that um a lot of the contributors are comedians and mm-hmm. I kind of got inspired to go try stand up comedy. So had my fourth ever gig last night and that's so good. Then I got mashed afterwards. So I'm uh, pretty tired. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being asked to do because like. A lot of the fax contributors debut in Cherry Comedy. I think you made your debut in yes. Cherry. Yeah. So I was, I remember getting a message before from some comedy booker being like, you know, female comedian competition, you know, and you messaged me on Facebook being like, you know, enter this. And I was like, oh, I, because of, I've had this, I've heard it before from people in Cherry Comedy and stuff like, oh, you know, do it and Irish people try stand up for the first time. I was like... Listen, I'm not a comedian, I'm not a stand-up, you know, I won't, thank you, but no. And then I remember telling Blahim, being like, these people want me to, you know, do these stand-up gigs and I've never done stand-up before. And Blahim was like, no, Nicole, there's another female Irish comedian called Nicole O'Connor. He obviously just thought it was the other one. <laughs> he messaged no me on way. Like, Yeah, apparently she's out there. And I was like... That they keep so asking funny. you to do gigs. That's so funny. <laughs> and Blind know. wouldn't like spare your feelings either. No. It's, like, eh, it's not you. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Oh, oh that's man. so funny. <laughs> and there's another Nicole O'Connor and she's yeah. in the comedy scene. Mm-hmm. This keeps happening. Shout out to Nicole O'Connor. You should come on and fair play. Tell a story about something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so have you any other, uh, before we finish up, mm. sort of, 
facts, stories. The thing about facts, I guess, was that, like, there, it was such a weird experience, I, I think, for someone who's, it was their nine to five, because there was this real, like, everyone was mates as well, and, like, mm-hmm. everyone hung around as well. It wasn't, like, just go to work, come home kind of thing. Do you yeah. know? It kind of became your whole life. In my whole life for two years. Like. Oh, yeah. Um, and, like, the line would get quite blurred as well, yes. I find, between producers, yes, producers which can. can cause problems. Like, I, I remember I used to just sit in the office sometimes because I had nowhere else to go and, like, charge my phone. Um, I, in, like, in retrospect, like, it's not a good idea to do in a place where you work. I would just sit there for, just like, hang just yeah. hang around. <laughs> which can be, like, I think in one of the offices it was you know it was quite divided but then in like the last one like the doors would be wide open so you would be hearing like people having big loud conversations yeah, and stuff. yeah and then it was confusing because like <laughs> on one hand we were kind of being told like get people in and get people out mm-hmm. and then on the other hand like there's a pool table there and beanbags like what do you expect people mm-hmm. obviously going to hang around I don't know man it yeah. made no sense and like Colin is there filming like behind the scenes yeah. footage as well so it's like yeah it's such a pity around. that that sort of Never took off. Yeah, I'm I really so thought that excited. would have been super cool. The behind the scenes vlog stuff. Yeah, yeah like even cool. like a few months before facts ended, you know, we got like a load of new staff and like there was plans of a second channel and all this kind of stuff. I was like, yeah, it, yeah. I mean, and that was actually part of the problem. I think the mm-hmm. expansion, like, had it paid off, amazing. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, it didn't pay off. So that was then okay. Well, I'm just gonna pull the plug, um. But anyway, oh, feck it anyway, who cares? Sure, look. We're all making content, we're going to be mm. making content with Try Channel, so that's all anybody cares about, really. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it was, it was just really interesting the way everyone just became really good friends and we're on nights out and some people on holidays together. and Yeah. Yeah, really, really mad stuff. You know, I felt like ugh, I need to go on another, like, I hope we all stay kind of, hopefully we try anyway, we stay in a little, like, friend, like, circle because the last time I went out with everyone was probably when we went to Mayo for Lorna, one of our producers' uh, birthdays. And it was tonight, the McGregor Mayweather fight as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Patty Murphy, young Patty Murphy cried because McGregor lost. <laughs> These are the things that you don't see on camera. <laughs> I thought he was sad. No, he was so was. excited for the for the match, and then he was like, <laughs> "Oh my god, Patty, I love you so I'm much." I'm so sorry, Patty. I'm so embarrassed for you. But yeah. I love you so much. That's that was so an amazing funny. trip as well because you can't take him anywhere without people <laughs> spotting him. And I'm like, "Why well, is he just is he is he really recognizable? Like, does he get recognized well. everywhere?" Yeah. Um, Do you not get recognized everywhere? I got recognised, um, like, in work, because people, like, obviously there's, like, a high concentrated amount of people that are coming in and out. Yeah. I got recognised the other day by someone, and I had not a, like, scrap of makeup on, and no one's ever really seen me, like, in on fax videos, like, like that. And he was staring at me, like... Couldn't figure out whether it was you or not. Yeah, he was like, Amazing. are you on fax? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm on fax. He was like... You look so different. Yeah. The to worst. be fair, I don't think I've ever seen that red lipstick on. True. Oh, well, probably with days you came into the office before you put it on, actually. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I I was... can, you can see how, yeah, people like see when you need a nude lip, be like, what? I know. <laughs> I felt like, like you know, like blogger unveiled. That's like happening. <laughs> like there's going to be a post being like, I saw Nicole O'Connor out in Bend Street. She looks nothing like her pictures. <laughs> she must Photoshop her lips so much to be that red. <laughs> <laughs> so for context for our American viewers um, and listeners there's like this drama going on on Instagram in Ireland at the minute and blah 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 I don't really care but there's a there's a there's a page called Bloggers Unveiled mm-hmm. who's like calling out bloggers for Photoshop and stuff or doing whatever so that's that's the joke it's actually there really funny go. yeah, that yeah. <laughs> sorry if you don't yeah. get it <laughs> her lipstick's fake <laughs> So big. Oh god, yeah. So that's that's bad. Like fax was such a like a great thing for me anyway when I was because I was a drama student when I started off and I was eighteen when I started doing fax videos as well. Yeah, I think it was me and Patty Murphy were the youngest, you know, that that were there, you know, out of the history of Yeah, I think Patty Murphy started when he was seventeen, like 'cause he I remember he couldn't drink at first. 
So he must have started when he was 17, just mm-hmm. before he turned 18, which is very young to be starting. Mm-hmm. I remember his first video, actually. This is the great thing about being around all the time and staying in the office past few times. I got to see a few people. It's the only reason why I ever got to meet Leather Jackie Guy, because he was like coming. Oh, you were never in a video with him? Never in a video with him. I'm kind of glad, like, you know, he, he's such a strong presence that I definitely would have been like, yeah, you do you, <laughs> you know? I actually don't think I ever, I know I never got to be in a video with him either, and I'd love to be in a video with him, so. Oh, yeah. You never know, maybe on Dry Channel. Hey. He did comment on the, on the promo yeah, video. Yeah, I'm super excited. I was like, oh my God, Who is knows? this happening? Oh my God. Oh my God. <gasps> is it? So Who knows? Excited. I don't know. I actually don't know, but it's super exciting. Yeah, that's not. We're not alluding to anything there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're alluding to genuinely. I don't know, but I like. I'd love if he was involved. Yeah, I got to make a video with him. Be amazing. But anyway, like facts for me, even just professionally, was such a help because I was so nervous those first few videos. And yeah, so I got to be confident in front of camera, and I was given a lot of time to actually, like, I was given a lot of chances to kind of get better. Because, like, in the beginning, I remember actually being told, like, I wasn't supposed to be told, but, like, that I ramble a lot. And that I learned something about myself and I actually got better at videos. Yeah. Like, well, that's good. Cool, yeah. Because person is always good. You were saying you remembered Paddy Murphy's first video? I remember his first video. I can't remember what it was. But I remember him walking around the office. I remember he spotted you right away and was like... You could say, and you 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 turned around, took off your headphones. You're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he was looking at the plaque of the like a hundred thousand subscribers. He was his mind was blown. <laughs> yeah, I actually think I remember this. And he was wearing a Rory Stories hoodie, I think, yes. at the time, yeah, because he was working on Rory Stories. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. God, that was mad. Jeez, that doesn't actually feel like that long ago. No. But you started when you were eighteen as well, so young enough. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about all those videos on the internet, like? Obviously, we made them, and, like, I'm in mm-hmm. some, and you're in loads, and, like, it's all fun and games at the time, but I often think, like, when I'm 80, am I going to be like, oh, there's a video of me in Tesco's on the internet? Yeah. Um, you know? No, I've definitely thought about it. I, luckily, there's not anything that, like, I, I regret that I've done in videos, as far as I can remember anyway. I've not really talked... No, anything like too risky anyway. Yeah. Uh, maybe in the, you know, women's sex toy videos where I go, I've had sex with women, <laughs> which makes no sense in the context. You can go watch it on your own. <laughs> um, I The one video I wish could be scraped off the internet is that wrestling video where I didn't wear the proper like clothing. Okay. And like the comments were the worst. And I hate, it's, it's my little black hole on the internet where I'm like, I don't go there. I pretend it doesn't exist. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So that... It was a great video. It just... Yeah, it's mm-hmm. just a pity it got overshadowed. Was, yeah, it was like... I was... We were having so much fun that day as well. And we were making jokes. You know, the fact that I was in just a little, like, sports bra thing. But, you know, other people come in. The internet is the internet. And then I... And now I'm just like, oh, God, that wrestling video. Which is such a shame. I do believe, I don't know if you know this, but I do <laughs> believe that there there was like, what? it came dangerously close at some points to nip slips in the editing process. The nips were out <laughs> at some point. I think there was one point I did like a flip and then I, I look up and then like the trainer looked and then I just looked at him without even looking at myself. I was like, my nipple's out, isn't it? And he goes, yep. <laughs> Oh, so it was out, right? Okay, it well, was out. I was yeah. like, I don't want to say it was out, but I, f- I have a funny feeling like at some point it came out. It but came I was like, out. I want to say it's not true. So obviously it did happen. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not remembering it wrong. Mm-hmm. But like now that you say it, that definitely was like a case of me being young and like not really thinking of like how you didn't the think it through. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, but like. Fuck those guys. I, I'm allowed to wear a sports bra if I want. It was just like, woo, boobs. <laughs> yeah, I well, as you probably didn't realise how quite how physical it was going to be either. Like, yeah. It was really like they were slamming you down. I was going, oh my God, what is happening? Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the, uh, which I probably shouldn't shout it out because you don't want people to go watch it. Um, it's the, the video with me, Harker and Sarah, if you can uh, remember that combination. <laughs> um, you were doing, what's it called? Wrestling? WWE? Yeah. That's the type of wrestling, yeah. Mm. So um, I didn't realise that it was so physical because they were slamming you down, like, real, like, Mm -hmm. even though it's, like, choreographed and you've got all these moves, like, they still hit you to the ground pretty hard. Yeah. 
like the the clothes lining thing where you literally like hit the person yeah like, god i know like, i would stern them <laughs> uh and just i remember sarah and it's it's in the video she uh, we were doing flips with the lad so we literally had to flip a lad over our heads and sarah it was really strong so she she did a no problem but she did it so much that your man landed kind of funny oh on his neck. And then he was like hurt. Yeah. 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 Because it was such an intensive training day, we learned so much in such a small amount of time. It was a little bit dangerous because we didn't have the right technique. Yeah. She actually did hurt him. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. That was insane. Luckily, they had endurance. <laughs> but they they were happy to like train us in that way. And we were yeah, like, they were oh. mad. They were really up for it. Mm-hmm. That was a, that was a really fun video to shoot, and it's it did, I think it did okay. I was saying in the video in the previous podcast about facts with Davy, and um, when we were talking about worst video shoots, mm. I mentioned that like some of the video shoots that you would do that were really fun to shoot or were outside of the office wouldn't actually do as well as you just getting people to taste test candy bars. Yeah, it was such a shame. So it's yeah, mm-hmm. it, I don't know. Especially when uh, we were trying to do, you know, we do a little video where it's like men try something specific. And then, like, that would be successful and try and go off that success, do the exact same video women try, and it got, like, half the views. Mm. It's like, what's the difference, guys? Yeah. Yeah, because mm. I think men try women's clothes got, like, two million, and, like, women try men's clothes, like, no one really cared. Yeah. It was such a shame, actually. I really loved that video uh, with Jamie where he's climbing a mountain. That was an amazing video. Yes. And, like, that, I remember after that video, we kind of got this message being, like, don't make these videos anymore because they're not like performing but that was such a good video yeah. like he one it was one legged man tries rock climbing for the first time like that's a really unique idea and it was really well shot mm-hmm. and like Jamie like really got really far up there and he loved it mm-hmm. and like yeah it was such a good video it was such a pity yeah I, I don't understand and you really like I suppose Fax was a channel where you're trying to make every video go viral and you can't really yeah. predict that almost. No, you can't. You really can't. And that's what used to annoy me in old jobs when they'd be like, can you make this go viral? I'd be like, yeah, I'll just press my viral button. Yeah. I think I actually did the exact same thing in <laughs> Davy's video. Uh, <laughs> sure love. So annoying. Yeah. Um, but like, I'm one of the videos I made for a producer Fax channel was vegetarians taste test meat. Mm-hmm. Now, like, I obviously wanted vegetarians to... I obviously wanted vegetarians taste test meat to do well because you want all your videos to do well but I didn't think it was going to do 20 million views That's well. That's incredible. Isn't that insane? Yeah. You had so many like like videos that had like over a million views. You, like, Arguably good. totally accidentally. Mm-hmm. I had like the personal trainers tried junk food was also was the first one and that got and that is now on 15 million. Jesus um, so that was kind of the first one to like get a load of views really quickly. And I think it was, I think that was my first million hits, yeah. And then uh, now vegetarians is more. It was just they're insane numbers. Like that's insane. I just, mm-hmm. it's just mad. And then you do something a third one, and it just wouldn't. I remember after trying to go off the success of vegetarians taste test meat, like we did. I did a uh, vegans taste test dairy, which I thought was going to be huge because yeah. I thought like you'd get all the vegans pissed off, you'd get all the anti vegans pissed off, and like because. It just, it did okay. And mm-hmm. actually, this is um, something really interesting that I learned from my time at Fax. Like, in that particular instance, I had a particular thumbnail with one of the contributors in it, and I changed out the thumbnail, and the video started to perform a lot better. Right. So there was definitely, like, it's, it's, it's awful, but, like, you, you really have to pick, like, whether it be a flattering shot of someone or... You know, or an overly, like, if it's sour shots, like, an overly, like, you Mm. know, you can't, it can't be medium. No, no. It has to be either, like, a really attractive shot of someone or the opposite, but that's why they're clicking in, if you get me. Yeah. Like, it was just, yeah, it was mad, the stuff you sort of had to do. Yeah, but, like, that being said... And often, that's why girls would be in the thumbnail, because girls would get more clicks, which is terrible. Like, it's terrible that that you'd say that, and you'd know that, and that you'd use it, because it works, but... Yeah. Hate the player, not the game. Or hate the game, not the player. <laughs> we would sign, obviously we signed like release forms so that you could do whatever you want with the footage. But yeah. like, there was never anything, at least in my experience and what I'm aware of, like where we did anything or said anything risky that actually made it into the video. Yeah, yeah we were fairly safe. Like we had to be, you know, it was kind mm-hmm. of, it was aiming for 
PG-13 kind of. Yeah. So it was never anything too risque ever went in. Like, <laughs> Ryan did his best. <laughs> oh, Ryan. <laughs> but a lot of stuff hit the floor. Yeah. I hear the only time I can think is like... A- once there was a, a thumbnail that came out where Dermot, it was looked like he was doing a Z Kyle, and he was like, um, not really comfortable with that being the thumbnail, guys, and then that Amazing. got changed. I was just like, oh god. I'd say they didn't even cut that at the time. Yeah, it's no, so it's just funny. like, and it wasn't like relevant to the video whatsoever. It's just like, well, is he? No, he, he wouldn't be. Yeah, so maybe, maybe change that. Maybe just a little oh, bit. Dermot. Oh, Dermot. Oh, Dermot. So uh, funny. I love Dermot so much. Well, thank you so much for coming on the Storytime Podcast again. Thank you. Uh, again. Remind everyone where to find you on the internet. Okay, so I suppose because I'm doing YouTube videos now, so you can check them at YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Nicole O'Connor, spelt the right way. This is where it gets confusing. And I see O L E O C O N N O R, and everything else is N I C O L E O C O N O R. On Twitter, Instagram, my email. Did you ever think of changing everything to Nicolo C? Um, or Nicolo Khan? <laughs> Nicolo Khan. Um, I don't know. I used to. I don't know. I don't really like how Nicolo C like sounds. No, that's fair enough. Actually, yeah, it's a kind of very different name. Mhm. I used to be. I I had like that typical thing where like I created a username when I was eleven and had it for everything for years. Yeah. Mine was Nick Chick. Nick Chick my, my first one was Tiny Ginger Princess at home, at home, which is humiliating to a man now. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> Awful. Yeah. Really bad. And then I, as I got older, I used to try and spell it for people so they wouldn't cop what it meant. Right. But like they were writing it down, so obviously. <laughs> they were going to see it. I'm, and you're spelling it so they don't pick it up. You're like T I N Y G I. And, like, you're trying to make it so that they don't pick up the words as you're spelling them. But mm-hmm. if they're writing it down, they immediately are like, oh, I can read. <laughs> so, yeah, so I had to delete that one eventually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for me in. Thank you for having me. Thank you for checking out the podcast this week. Um, we are on Anchor and iTunes and hopefully soon Google Play, if not already. Check the links down in the description to see. And, uh, yeah, check out the Patreon. And see you again next week. Bye. Bye.